protecting me. Protecting me. Protecting me. From a jealous man. Protecting me. From seeing his hand. Oh, I used to love it. But I used to give a full performance too in the basement. In the basement in East St. Louis, darlings. I could have sold tickets at the door. They would have not known that it wasn't a show. It was, They would not have known that it wasn't a show that they would have seen for their lives, for the eternal lives that they had. I be needing to, man, Joey and the scam, I be fuck that motherfucker. He be having me on a fucking flow. That's all I'm doing. I'm just internalizing Joey and the scammer. Dying. That's me, though. That's me. That's me. I can't always be doing That was me. But when I come up with the bullshits, that's Joanne, darling. That's Joanne. Joanne has no dignity, no pride, nothing. Joanne just is Joanne. Joanne thinks the world belongs to Joanne. I just love it, man. I, don't want, I just saw one. Oh my God, if y'all have not, Joanne the Scammer, it's a guy who just dresses up as a white woman. He just internalizes being a white woman. So he's in the store and it's like all these purses and he just opened his bag. <laughs> he, took, he, took the biggest, he just took the biggest bag and flipped his hair <laughs> and just scoops all the little bags into the big bag. He's like, oh my God, do you need all those purses? Do you need all those purses? Yeah, I need a saddlebag, a leather saddlebag. I used to have one. Now, this has been stolen now. I'm talking about for years, and I had to buy it myself. My cousin's husband actually was like, I'm going to get you a leather backpack. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just something to have. And so, when I finally got to the leather store, because I'd never actually been to the leather store. Nothing leather ever was attractive to me. So, I finally get to the leather store, and I bought me and my sisters these leather braces. Black, yellow, and red. And then, after I get the bracelets... I got myself the saddlebag because I was like, I was in love with it. I had to put that motherfucking lay away when I finally got it. That bitch is bad. You hear me? It gets scratches on it, all this different stuff. I don't know. It doesn't hold everything. Well, who gives a fuck? It is like the baddest motherfucker ever. So it's like for real, when I get a chance, that's it. If I come up, I'm getting a saddlebag. I, I have to get like, oh, maybe a, maybe a backpack. I don't know. But it's like to have all those purses, it's just like, why would I have all those purses? Like, what is the fucking, what is the fucking deal? Okay, so now I understand because I also used to have like this orange and yellow crochet purse. And I got it from like a a, a resale store. Like, it's like where you switch. I also had an Audrey Hepburn cigar purse. So it's like some purses, I'm just like, why would I want that? when I can have this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to have a statement piece. So, each of those, like, every time I get a bag, then they're after, it's like some statement piece that I had to put on Lil Way. The only one I didn't put on Lil Way was the, was the, um, the orange bag, because I got it, like, I got it thrifted. It was like a thrift from, like, trading my clothes in or something like that. So, it's like, man, I just really, now that I think about it, I'm like, okay, you do. You need all those purses. You need them. You need those purses. I like vintage. So I'm just like a vintage type of person. I like vintage and I like art. So I'll pay for vintage and I'll pay for art. So it's like some purses now, like the little side satchels and stuff, like the little clutch purses, they are so avant-garde that I want one. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that is just the shit. Like they have a jeans t-shirt and an avant-garde-ass purse with some big-ass earrings. Bitch, please. The outfit is over. The outfit now speaks for itself. The outfit now lets you know that bitch I'm here. You know what I'm saying? It's like now, honey, please. 
I mean, that is like something I could just use to cover up my face, everything. Like, it's like, okay, like, so look, you have the avant-garde, and it's like, <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, you know what I'm saying? That is like a picture, bitch. You said, oh, my God, look. Then I look like Betty Crocker, a new couple. It is like, shit. Don't give me something, and it's going to be a picture. The shit is over. So it's like, I see why. But see, I just wouldn't have the same type of purse. I have to have, like, a different one. Because I am, like, a, like I said, a theme kind of person. And the same type of purse is not going to lead me to where I need to go. It is not going to lead me to the water to drink. I am so sorry. The purse just could not lead me, Joanne, to the water to drink. I would have been like, you are such a dull bitch. You know what I'm saying? Me and Joanne can go at it. I'm not junk. Joanne, you are such a dull bitch. You could have did better. Didn't Rodney teach you that? That you need variety? Isn't that why you got your divorce, Joanne? Isn't that why you got your divorce? <laughs> you can come up with a lemonade. <laughs> yeah, I'm not joking. Like, it is like me and Joe and could go at it for real. For real. Me and Joe, I, Kiki too. Country Kiki, man, please. She, girl, you better walk away because it'll be over. It'll be over. Isn't that why your ass is flat? <laughs> Isn't that why your third husband slept with Paula Dollar? You know, I mean, it, I just be telling her, bitch, did you want another cup of wine? <laughs> do you want me to call the man they call the coke dealer you know what I'm saying it's like let's really get into it bitch cause we finna get it have you put a crack in your arm lately is that what took you so long in the bathroom <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, darling do you know there's a med dispenser right there in the bathroom who would that be for who would ever choose a place <laughs> Oh, I ain't gonna go. <laughs> you just, <laughs> I'll be serious in a motherfucker. Who would ever choose a place? Oh, you are crackhead. <laughs> Look, yo, I would have rushed to the table like, no, I have to get out of here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I could be on the show with DD, y'all. That bitch would be bad. Y'all heard me? I mean, oh my God, I eat her. I would have ran to the table and snatched all my shit and be like, wait a minute. I'm like, where are you going? That is a needle. Dis <laughs> that is a needle dispenser in the bathroom. They have crackheads here. <laughs> and they said that could be one at the table. <laughs> They said that could be one here. Y'all, I am not the motherfucker. They would have been, I would have been a whole new bitch. They would have been like, this bitch is evil. I sure in the fuck am, because bitch, you evil too. Man, that bitch, I would have ate her soul, y'all. They got the wrong motherfuckers. I am talking about Portia could have played that shit, man. She could have belittled that bitch to nothing. Candy could too. I'm not playing. Y'all be letting that bitch get away with everything. I'm talking about y'all got the right to leave I would have been like there's no there's no scented toilet paper in the bathroom who does this who invites people to their home and there's no scented toilet paper who the fuck are you you know what I'm saying like it is like you are such a tawdry bitch look at your edges Nene look at your edges man when she tried to come for Sheree Sheree was like bitch please I beat the fuck out of you I mean Sheree is like yes Sheree if I had to choose any of y'all cause I am a designer I'm gonna have to choose Sheree and Sheree keep herself fit Sheree ain't really tripping off no man I'm talking about for real Sheree will beat a, a, a gay nigga ass y'all saying I'm saying watch your fucking mouth bitch if I had to choose any Atlanta housewife that really got me down is gonna be Sheree. Sheree wasn't playing with her. Sheree don't play, and Sheree wasn't trying to stay in their business and shit eat. Sheree kept her, her laid. Man, come on, y'all. Sheree had that shit. 
She by Sheree. I'm not joking. Oh, out of all of them, Sheree had me. Because I'm like, with Sheree, I'll beat the fuck. I'll beat the block. Bitch, I'll beat you up and down the fucking block, ho. I know you ain't shit. That's how Sheree was like, I know you ain't not one motherfucking thing, bitch. You know, what the fuck you done came up with, ho? They up there trying to talk about Sheree House. I know y'all done tried to stop the one from making money. Y'all sitting up there trying to put out there. Y'all see how they do me? They'll stop all my fucking money and be like, you're a bad mother. And you did. Then you kidnapped my son, nigga. Then y'all put me in the hospital and give me a shot to gain weight, nigga. Like, it be like, how the fuck I'm supposed to feel bad about this shit? And it's like, I ain't even done nothing to it. You see what I'm saying? It's out of my hands. So y'all gonna go to her house trying to act like she was wrong. Like, she a designer, man. I don't know. She run out. Y'all see what I'm saying? She was going through a divorce. Ain't nobody trying to, like, talk to her or nothing. And it's like, man, fuck you. Sheree was handling herself. I would have beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> Man, that shit is hilarious. Oh, my God. That's a needle dispenser in the bathroom. Man, I would, man, please. I would accuse that. Nene, you were smoking crack. I saw you. I saw you put the needle in your fucking arm, bitch. You a crackhead ass, bitch. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? You done forgot your whole life. You forgot you was a hoe before the show. I would have been. Man, please, I would have ate that bitch soul. I'm not joking. I would have had her ass crying. Nene, you killed Greg. You killed your husband. Y'all know my mama was married to a Greg. Nene, you killed your husband. Did you kill your husband? What'd you do to his soul? I just saw it. I just did y'all see when the cat was trying to eat the mouse and the mouse started screaming? I was like, is that Greg's soul? Are you kidding me? Girl, please. I beat the head all that bitch business on the street. You killed your husband. How much you get? Let's keep how much you get for Greg? It's enough to keep your lights on. Girl, please don't fuck with me. I'm the wrong motherfucker. I mean, y'all. I be like, you want to fuck with people on nothing? Like, I'll fuck with you just because you fuck with candy. Just because you fuck with... I'm talking about... If you got this girl that want to beat your ass, like, y'all don't understand. Like, I be going through shit like that, too. Y'all see what I'm saying? I went through that shit with Mary at the shelter. And Mary and, uh, that country bitch was Mississippi. If you got somebody where out they pocket where they want to beat your ass, and you look at that girl, what's her name? Portia. She got, like, a a go get him attitude. She ain't really trying to have nobody in her way. She don't get no fuck really about no attitude or nothing. She got to deal with her sister. Her sister got to deal with Portia too. You see what I'm saying? They got more to deal with between each other. Like, y'all should have made scenes with them between each other. Nene ain't got nothing to do with Portia. Nene not even on Portia level. Nene not on uh, the other girl level either. It's like, you gonna let this ghetto bitch run a show. You gonna let this hood rat run a fucking show. It ain't the fact that she an ex stripper. It's the fact that she a hood rat. You gonna let the hood rat run the show, and not a good hood rat either. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Some of y'all hood, but y'all ain't no rat. She a hood rat. You just be like, how this hood rat ass bitch gonna sit up there and try to talk about somebody, and you a fucking hood rat? You know what I'm talking about? Like you ain't never seen shit. Where the fuck you been, bitch? <clears throat> What you done seen? What you done been through, Nene? All you know is rape and murder. That's why Greg is dead. Tell the truth. Let's talk about it, girl. Let's do a reunion. Sheree should have whooped her ass, y'all. I was waiting for her to just knock her fucking block off. Bitch, you want to act like you hard. You know what I'm saying? She, that's how you know she a hood rat. She's one of them little hoes that get in the hood and start trying to talk shit, run shit. Bitch, you can't do nothing. I 
Okay, y'all. So let's let's talk about a brain dump. <clears throat> uh, so let's do a brain dump when we t- and we're gonna also talk about what else? Brain dumps. Look, bitch, I'm fabulous. You understand what I'm saying? And that's it. The key is that they still follow me and not you. That's what I be wanting y'all to know. I may be here, darling, but they still follow me and not you. Okay, y'all, so a trigger list is just like things that trigger you. A brain dump is like where you just take everything from your brain that you're thinking about. And usually it happens in the middle of class. It happens in the middle of like, I mean, for me, it happens anytime somebody is about to give a lecture. So I usually just have a sheet of paper where I just like, um, where I just write down everything that that comes to my mind. So then I don't have to sit there and think about it. Then I don't have to sit there and make a list. And if I have to make a list, I'll just write make a list later. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to put later. Just make a list of toys. Make a list of shoes. Make a list of clothes. Like, make a list of chores. Whatever. So it's like, that's what a brain dump is. It's also like an icky guy because you are thinking about these things. So therefore, they must be important. And it'll like, and the thing is, you have to dump it onto a sheet of paper because I'm going to tell you. Have you ever been in the middle of something like, okay, I'll think about that later. And it's like, it never comes back up. Like, you're like, what the fuck was I thinking I had to do? What did I think I have to do? And you just never do it. You see what I'm saying? And so you just like, I mean, it never comes to your mind. So you're just like, oh my God. So when you do a brain dam, you have to have a sheet of paper. You see what I'm saying? It just has to be something that you write down. So, when do you need a brain dump? When you can't focus on what you're working on, when you're working long hours but not getting much done, when you are about to start a new project, when you are moving or traveling to somewhere else, when you experience major uh, changes in life, like a new relationship or a new job, when you lose something or someone important. So, um, I have lost people and I haven't been able to go back and I haven't actually been able to go back and clear out the spaces. I usually try to uh, clear the spaces out. So, I haven't had a chance to do that. So, that's something that I just did not know. My brain dump list, procrastinations, fears, anger, discouragement, incomplete goals, sorrow. Sometimes it's not that deep. So, for this list, I'm just like, maybe that's when you lose somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, um, because sometimes it's it's just not that deep. Um, Because that's not something that always happens. So, she went really deep real quick. So, Next, um, so what exactly is a, what is the purpose of it? It's the center. It will center and ground you. It will reduce feelings of being overwhelmed. Provide some guidance for your day. Reduce anxiety anxiety about the day ahead. Clear your head and free up mental energy. And like I said, it's like, <clears throat> you can do a podormo where you like only do like three tasks in the morning, three tasks in the evening. If you can't finish it, then just go ahead and put it on to the uh, next day. So it's like really six tasks. And it's like, if you can't finish the task for that day, just put it at the top of the list for the next day. Move on. You see what I'm saying? Just keep going. Um, Because it'll get done. You see what I'm saying? You'll get it done. Have faith in yourself. The faith, the size of a mustard seed. Okay, the next part of it is the brain dump. Now, here we go. Eight easy brain dump ideas. So, it tells you what a uh, brain dump is, what different types of brain dump is. Top three, easy three, next three. That's the task. So, top three tasks that are time sensitive. Easy three tasks that I do quickly to help me gain a momentum. Next three tasks that I want to accomplish after my top three are complete. And so, the only way you can do the three is if you brain dump first. Like, you have to just write out everything that you need to do, and then you could look at it like that. You see what I'm saying? So, it's like, you really, like, so, see, she started hers on a, on a, just a, a long page of just everything she has to do. And so, that's when she started doing her top three, her easy three, and her next three. So, that's what she didn't put on her. Any energy uh, level brain dump, it's like low energy. This is what I do medium energy, high energy, just for fun. Y'all, this is stuff that... <clears throat> housewives they don't have to even think like it's like 
if they've been at home with more than one child, they don't even have to think about it. It's just something that just gets done. Priority brain dump. You know? So it's like they just know. Like me, because I'm an art teacher and an artist, being a teacher was easy because as an artist, I would be in like a lot of art classes at one time. So it's like, which one do I have to get done first? Just like even with this uh, nano rhyme or whatever, I know one day I'm going to sit here and catch up on all my my numbers like i actually took yesterday off i was like fuck that i don't want to do this shit every day so it's like <clears throat> i want to write it but it's like some days i'm just like i'm tired y'all it's like i should have been did my story or something you know something should have been done and so um weekly brain dump it's like that you can do that too like so that's another one like you could just like do something every week i do i, I usually go week by week too because i budget week by week actually i, I budget i do two weeks so I plan I plan out two weeks and then I plan out the next two weeks. So you can do a weekly brain dump. You can do a weekend brain dump. It's up to you. Like however you want to do it. A theme brain dump, a meal planning brain dump, house project brain dumps, big goal brain dump. And it's just all it is is just like once you get to that point, like even if after being in college, it starts to be that way too. But life changes, so then you'll have to like I got I got to pay rent. I got to buy, you know, like me. I want to have like um, I always have placements and all that stuff too. Blame it on my grandmother. Blame it on my grandmother. Who cares? Who cares, darling? Who cares? I need a pistol. Who cares? Blame it on her. And if I could have a tea set, bitch, I would. Fuck you. So yeah, I have to have like placements and um. I don't really do like napkin holders and stuff yet, but if I get a new space, like when we get on the bus, I'm getting napkin holders, I'm getting like all types of shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I have to like theme everything, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the color, the space, whatever. If I have to make those bitches, I'll make them, you know? So it's just that's how it is. So that's all it is. And look, y'all can make them with these um, little rings or whatever. You could just make them, cut them, and paint them, decorate them with some jewels, and who will care? Who would care? All I gotta do now is roll up a napkin and put that bitch in there. Y'all understand? We are her. Like, I am not joking. We country, bitch. East St. Louis don't know how country they are. Like, it is like, because people would like, they always think being country is like not decadent. Not, not decadent. And it is. It's like, that's how we are. You know what I'm saying? My grandmother is straight up from the South. It's like, we have to have a set table, placements. We have to have a napkin ring with the roller, a plate. We don't put all that out, though. Some people, y'all put it out, and it's like, it's just going to collect this dust. You actually keep your dishes inside of the curio until it's time for you to eat. Or, in time, in, or if, until it's time for you to use them. So when they clean, they stay clean. Like, you don't have to worry about dust being on. That's the whole reason for having, like, the curio cabinet. And, like, she had a set, like, for, like, soups and we got the spoons and all the different stuff and so sometimes we get to use that stuff and it's like on thanksgiving you know what i'm saying so it's like if she gets a new set then you know what i'm saying and it was like the set has silver so it couldn't really go into the microwave without making a spark so i was just i'm just like please like this is just that's just how we are and then you go to your friend house it's the same fucking way you be like yep y'all country y'all country so you can do a guided brain dump a home brain dump or do it yourself brain dump finances bills health relationships transport personal care organizational organization personal development goals and then you have other okay so oh i gotta get this thing back on the battery and what else do i have and that's it y'all gonna end it on this note because y'all could just go here. Oh, the brain dump prompts. What are your biggest goals for the month? Can you think of a stressful task uh, that you're avoiding? What will you? Tr- what would truly make you happy? Like all those things. If you have something to talk about or think about, then just write it down. But I don't know why prompts will be there because a brain dump is just all this shit swirling through your head that you gotta get done after this fucking meeting. You see what I'm saying? So, just you leave a spot on your notebook and then from there you go. So, the, my favorite one out of all these was when the list was like, and guess who was by? Probably a stay-at-home mom. It was just a list that she just dumped all everything out. The easy three, the top three, easy three, next three. Y'all see what I'm saying? And it was like she just set it up in threes and then just got her stuff done. Y'all understand? Because it's really like a to-do list. 
So all this extra stuff, it's like, that's not a lot to dump your brain on. I don't know. It's like, it's unnecessary. I don't know. That's that's how easy this is. Make it that easy. If you got to do prompts and shit, you trying to brain dump. You ain't trying to, you see what I'm saying? You ain't really trying to get nowhere. Anyway, thank you, Blake. I love you and I thank you. Please, y'all have a great day. Have a great day. And Nene, fuck you. And the horse you rode in on, bitch, because you stole that letter and tried to make it into something else. Fuck you. And Sheree, thank you, because it was about time for somebody to beat that bitch ass. Have a good day.